Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and today we are taking a look at the Logitech Pebble M350 mouse from Logitech, their newest mouse on the market, and also promises to be one of the most portable and quietest mice as well. Okay, so the biggest feature of this definitely is the quietness, and we'll talk about that now. It's a very quiet click. It's not mute, it's not silent, but it's a very dull click. You can still hear it, but it takes away that sharp traditional click from a normal mouse and leaves a muted, softer click, which definitely is quieter. And it's about the loudness of a Mac trackpad when you click, maybe even quieter. Now this means it's great for using it in a library, uh, at night, in a dorm, or any quiet setting where you don't want to disturb others or, or be heard by a mouse and you just don't want to be obtrusive. This mouse is for that. But it also means it's very comfortable. There's something very satisfying, in, in my opinion at least, about the softer click and sound. I'd prefer this to my other mice just in terms of the comfort and the feel of clicking as well as the noise. It's just oddly satisfying to click a really quiet mouse, but it still has that clicky tactile feel, just the sound is a little bit more muted, it's just softer overall. And when we compare it to both Logitech's MX Anywhere mouse and their MX Master mouse, you can hear the difference. Now the same applies for the scroll wheel, it's pretty quiet, especially compared with the Anywhere mouse, there's a huge difference, but when compared to the MX Master 3, which has very quiet scrolling, the Logitech Pebble actually has slightly louder scrolling, but it's still very quiet. And again, if you're using this in a dorm, or in a library, or a coffee shop, anywhere where you just don't want to be annoying with clicks, this is great. Now the second best feature is that it is compact. It's pretty similar, I would say, to Apple's Magic Mouse in the sense that it's a pretty flat, compact mouse. Now it's a little bit more comfortable than Apple's because it does have a little more height and does have a little bit of an angle to it. And it's also similar to the MX Anywhere 2 mouse, but it's a little bit thinner and lighter, so it's pretty portable. Definitely can put it in a pocket, definitely can put it in a bag. No issues with traveling with this. Now Logitech is also hyping up the colors on this. It comes in three colors, a light blue, a rose pink, and a trendy white. Uh, the colors are fine, I mean, they're nice, but I don't think that they're anything to buy this mouse just for the colors, but it does give you some options if you want to customize it for your desk setup. Now they do run on a AA battery, so it has about 18 months of battery life. That's kind of an old feature to not have USB-C or even micro USB, so you're gonna have to replace the battery every year and a half or so, depending on your usage. Not the end of the world, but again, it does have a battery. Now also there's no device switching, so only one Bluetooth connection at a time, but you can also use the USB dongle, which is actually included and stores inside of the case, so that actually is very convenient, but like I said, only one Bluetooth connection. And then of course there are no side buttons, there's no horizontal scrolling, and no infinity scroll on the scroll wheel. Uh, these are a little bit disappointing. The Anywhere 2 mouse has both the infinity scroll and the side buttons. Again, this is a simpler, flatter, cheaper mouse that doesn't have these features, and so just that's what you have to expect with this mouse. So ultimately, I think that the quiet clicks can be a very considerate thing to have in a coffee shop or anywhere where you just don't want to disturb others. I know for me, at least quieter clicks would be nice when I'm on the go. And I think this will be my mouse of choice for on the go, whether I'm using it with my iPad or my computer. Just having that small, lightweight, and quiet mouse on the go is going to be great. It doesn't have all the features of its bigger brothers, but it's a pretty good option for a decent price at 30 bucks. I think you can get better deals out there, but if you're looking for something reliable from Logitech and that has these features, this is a pretty good option. I'll leave a link in the description as always. Thanks for watching.